Here's the money. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. Family heirloom. Much Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. I've let a hundred million. It's just up the road. At least he didn't get himself killed. Oh, you said your mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Uh, China. Now, I can't Brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. <sighs> How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Bye, Mom. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Sure. I good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. Well, not that long. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. What's on me? Yep. Okay, girl. Yep. Oh, wow. 
Take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? At this moment. I just. <laughs> well, I was wondering I if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh, uh, yeah, go. Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot, but you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, about the old supplies. That's true. <laughs> So, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lee. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. Thank you. Well, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. <laughs> Welcome! Oh, and thank you for that thunderous applause. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not oh, doubt. Yeah. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just starting, huh? Are you the greatest Arthur? show ever assembled? Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire! Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly yeah, yeah, stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Kalinsky. Yeah, Perfect. Well, yeah, I see you, you You love her dulcet the tones, right? Yes, she's pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> yeah, Your mother most likely told you not and to I play with fire myself. or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. 
You can see how this could go hard. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Oh, enchanting! Mesmerizing! She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France yeah. where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! <laughs> <laughs> Incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. 
We flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Okay. Wait, anything else about us? All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If, I, if anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But, Arthur... If we're gonna run away anyway, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I hit some. Then some fool got trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Thank 
最后别忘了点赞、关注、评论、收藏、投币。